Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to pour this trinket tray mold and this is the round trinket tray mold from Molds and Shapes. And I start mixing my colors. So I have here my cups and I guess I need um, four, five cups. And yeah, I'm just dividing my resin. I'm using the Mastercast resin and I want to achieve a sort of um, crackle effect, um, but just a little bit different. So um, I have not really used much the Mastercast resin for um, the crackle effect. So I'm quite curious um, how this is going to work. The Mastercast is a one-to-one -one resin. It's a rather thick resin. And it has a working time from around about 40 minutes, 35 minutes, something like this. So um, I think I can use a little bit more here for my white. And I'm also starting with my white. I'm using here the Resitin Max Titanium White and look, it's almost empty. So I really need to scratch it out and I need to order a new one. <laughs> but I have it for so long already, but now it's it's really done. So you see, I'm, I'm using rather a lot. I might have to take another um, popsicle stick because I want to have it really opaque. So this is my first color. Then my second color is this awesome mint mica from Etta Art. And I'm using also quite a lot, you see it. So I want, it, I want the colors to be really um, very shiny or very present and this is a um, mica called Lavenda. Yeah, just a little bit more. Oh, I can use this. And here is a mica and this is sand. Awesome color. So you see, I really use a lot. Um, and here I'm going to work with the pigment drops in white because I want to make a flower in the center. Two, three, four, I guess five drops is, is fine. I will see. So I'm just stirring and you see it's really very heavy what I'm mixing, but I'm doing this on purpose. And I'm very curious what result I'm gonna um, achieve, but yeah. I will stir this. And then I'm back after I um, stirred everything because um, it takes a while. So I'm back. I mixed everything very good. And now I'm just taking my clear resin and I'm pouring along the edge. I love doing this because um, you get such wonderful effects, especially at this um, engraving of the trinket um, dish mold. And yeah, this is what I like to do. So this is, just try to be rather accurate. You cannot always do it so accurate, but yeah. This is my clear resin there. And now I'm taking my dotting tool and I'm just taking care of any air bubbles trapped here. Please, um, when you do this, when you use your dotting tool, always also try to be careful that you are not doing anything to your mold. So I need a baby wipe so I can clean my dotting tool. And see there's a big air bubble. So I just briefly did this with the torch. When you use the torch, have the phlegm or the flame rather small and 
never stay too long at one spot and especially when there's no resin on your um, mold or when there's only a thin layer of resin so please always be careful i'm starting now with my mint color i hope i stirred it also well enough but i will see and i want to go in a sort of um, wiggly lines you see so this is really nothing difficult this is easy to pour and i hope you know by doing this that i get nice blendings so this is what i'm doing this is my mint color now I take the sun color and I'm going to do the same thing. Also in these wiggly lines. Also um, take two rows and because I mix my um, micas very um, strong, I hope that um, yeah that the colors will sink to the bottom. And now this awesome color. doing exactly the same thing, just layering my colors above each other in these wiggly lines. I just hope that the um, lavender won't take over too much because it's a strong color, but we will see. Now I'm taking my clear resin and I'm pushing out my colors like so i will keep a little bit because um, i want to maybe um, push it a little bit more at the side there's still air bubble see you you always have these and there's something in my mold so this could be unmixed mica so i try to take care of it as soon as possible even though I mixed my mica very, very um, long, very much, um, yeah, you sometimes have it. So, and now I'm repeating this um, with my colors. Just again. The mint tone. And then I'm, yeah, I'm gonna continue with the sand and I just take all the colors I have. So I empty my cups also here. I think the color combination is beautiful. So I really hope I'm able to achieve something with a nice blending. And sorry if I don't talk so much, it's um, because I'm concentrating. Um, yeah, <laughs> I hope it's, it's fine for you. And my last color here. And I guess I'm not gonna take too much of the lavender, just one more row, um, this one row. Yeah, I can always put it aside and see later. And now I'm going to push out again and then I will take my white. So 
my mold <clears throat> my mold is not yet really full so this is now my white and i am also doing these um wiggly lines so exactly the same thing like so the white helps the colors um, to pull towards the center and that's why I'm using here the white and I mixed it, like I said, rather opaque. So, that's enough for the white for the moment. And I also wanted to make a flower, so I still have here my center and I'm not sure if I should go, you see, um, this white is not so opaque. I'm not sure if I should um, draw my flower or if I should go just in a spiral. Hmm, what am I gonna do? Um, could also try to make a flower pattern like so. Not always too good in drawing these flowers like so. <laughs> so please bear with me. I hope there won't be too many blobs but I think like this it's all right and now the resin can also pull towards the center I can smoothen this out a little bit and I'm not gonna work with glitter or anything um, I can maybe design it a little bit more like um, pulling my stick through. It's up to you how you design your flower, what you are going to do with this. Just a tiny bit and then I'm giving it a swirl like so. And I hope that um, My colors are gonna um, pull over um, over my flower. Sorry for my English this morning. <laughs> it's, it's morning and I'm not awake for too long. Maybe I just use a little bit more of the opaque white just to help moving. It looks quite promising, but it looks also very chaotic. So I am very curious how this is going to work. Not sure if I should put a little bit more white, but maybe I just leave the flower as it is. Um, yeah, I put you on a time lapse so you can see what's going to happen and um, how the resin is moving, if it's moving. Um, I may consider getting my um, heat gun. You will see it in, in the time lapse and then I will maybe um, blow out very carefully just the edge. Okay. So, I can demold. It's still just a tiny bit bendy, but it's okay. Let me just start getting the first um, layer off. 
and then we can have a look it's always you know with the getting it out of this little room so i'm just very curious how this turned out if i have the nice color blendings and look at this i love it i really love it look at that and there's a flower, but you have also a sort of web effect. So I really adore this. It's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> I am very happy also with the blending of the little crackles. Look at this. It's very, very beautiful. You see it? I hope I, I'm holding it right into the camera. And I don't mind these little blobbies. It's very beautiful. Yeah, I really love this. So I will take you down for a close up. And yeah, then we see each other hopefully for the next video. Take care, guys. Bye bye.